All right. Nuke, uh, Nuke's top five has yeah, dropped, just dropped this a couple of days ago. So I hope you don't mind me doing it so quick, but uh, I'm sure he don't. Because his videos get millions in a couple of days, literally. So yeah, I'm pretty sure he don't care. But anyway, um, I had to do it because I just love these videos. Top 10 ghost videos, so scary, I had to have emergency surgery. So yeah, I don't, I don't know how you could be scared into emergency surgery. This should, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, let's go. <clears throat> River's Edge. Cambodian Paranormal Investigation Team RC Fun TV2 travels to an allegedly haunted area along the bank of a river. The locals tell stories of many horrible incidents that have taken place in this small area, right at the river's edge. First, it is said that a young boy was swept away in a mudslide in this area, and sadly, he perished in the flood. Another tale recounts that a man took his own life at the river's edge. And then, even more tragedy, because the graves of several children can be found here, buried along the river bank. Because this spot has such a horrible history, the RC Fun TV team decides to leave offerings and prayers for any distressed spirits that might be unable to move on to the other side. And not long after leaving their offerings, the paranormal investigators spot something truly terrifying. Oh. The investigators spot what appears to be a man sitting on the edge of the river, but something is very off about the mysterious. All right, I want to put a challenge out to anybody who does video editing to make their ghost videos, edit them as good. I'm not saying it can't be done. But uh, explain that. Unless it's like just a swamp man. He did look like he was more than happy to go for a swim. Could it be a bonobo? The kind of more monkey, not quite man, monkey. Thank you. The man is extremely pale and his face is unrecognizable. Like when the team attempts to get on. closer, the stranger disappears underwater. Yeah, that's creepy. Never to be seen again. The RC Fun TV team say that they might have just seen the spirit of the man that took his own life on the riverbank. Or perhaps even the boy that drowned in the flood. Nah, I'd say the man. But is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Stray away. It's late in the afternoon when a CCTV camera in the city of Angle, Chile, captures a teenage girl presumably walking home from school. Well, she had a blade. What happens next is absolutely chilling. weapon in his hand 
The girl is terrified and instinctively walks backward away from the car. When the men then back up their car to follow her, suddenly a little stray dog comes running out of nowhere and aggressively starts barking at the dangerous strangers. The little dog effectively saves the teenage girl from what we can only assume would have been a horrible fate. The video about the heroic little dog went viral on the internet, with many people giving praise to the stray for recognizing the threat and protecting a complete stranger from harm. Now without a source, I unfortunately don't know what happened to the little dog after it ran out of frame. But as for the footage, it just goes to show again that human beings are always scarier than any ghost or spirit. See, that does go to show, dogs do know. They probably sense the fear in the girl. Dogs can sense fear, a hundred percent, and they, it probably sensed that something was going on, because that dog started as well. Dogs do know. Animals know. Animals know when something came right. They do know. It's just, but then I suppose so do we, as humans. Do you know what I mean? You don't like we do have a. Um, was it when it in Opie Avenue? when they talk about Silence of the Lambs. And he says um, the bit in Silence of the Lambs when Buffalo Bill's putting the thing in the back and he said, and they portray it on the girl's face who gets kidnapped by Buffalo Bill. She has that second of just go in the house, but then kind of the human in her overrules that and says, would you like help? And then, yeah. Uh, Obviously, she gets kidnapped, but well, I think as humans, we do have a, we have that animal intuition of saying, hey, ain't right. Actually, I've got a story about that, but anyway, let's go. Not a helping hand. This next video was posted to Facebook by Marla Teixeira Hernandez from Richmond, California. Marla says that she was rearranging some furniture in her son's bedroom and recorded a video of the room's final look to show to her daughter. But when she watches her video back, she spots something downright chilling. Marla says she was completely alone in the room when what appears to be a little hand can be seen moving behind her son's cabinets. Even creepier, Viewers pointed out that a man's voice seems to quietly whisper, don't be afraid to die. Now, Marla posted the video to Facebook in hopes of getting any thoughts or ideas on what she might have captured. She says that other than one strange incident with a fan switch turning itself off and on in her son's room, she's never really experienced anything paranormal in the house. So what do you think this is? Before we move on to the next... I don't know whether that was Asian, but there's a couple of Asian videos with the creepy hands. In it, an Asian video that with the fish tank. That one, when you see the hand through the fish tank. Yeah, that's the, um, the creepy Asian hand ghost. If you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Encounter of the Third Kind The following is a very old video from the depths of the internet. Source unknown. So, a group of friends are hanging out, drinking and having a good time in the woods of Flacy, France. Suddenly, they spot what they believe to be a dog hiding behind a tree. Vous avez vu un truc encore bouger Bon, toi là. Il y a un truc là-bas Il y a un truc derrière là. Attendez. Minou, 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 j'ai trouvé de ta mère. Putain Putain. Il est mignon le chat. Ouais, il est un peu gros le chat, j'aime pas ça. Ouais, j'aime barrer. Oh, non Bah, il y a un. Pour éclairer, putain! Oh, 
something otherworldly can be seen moving around behind the tree. Something with long fingers and an unusually large skeletal head. The video abruptly cuts and what happens next remains a mystery. So could it be that the group had an encounter with an alien? Or just what is that? Let me know what you think. Well... Hunting? Seeing as pretty much the American government have been like, oh yeah, you and all them alien like UFO videos that we, we've been saying for years aren't real. Oh well, they actually are. So it could be an alien. Could be. And Mexico is in, what name Mexico? And Area 51, like, near Mexico as well. Mexico has, isn't there a, a mass UFO, one of the most convincing stories before America kind of admitted it, but was, I'm sure it's a Mexican school even, or is it Brazil? But loads of school kids basically all saw the same thing, and the teachers and everybody. But anyway, yeah, let's go. Unknown. Paranormal investigator Alex from the YouTube channel Hunting the Unknown sets out to investigate a restaurant in England that's been abandoned for over 20 years. The owners of the restaurant are said to have abruptly fled the property after being tormented by severe paranormal activity. The abandoned and broken down structure is located deep in the middle of the woods and Alex is all alone as he begins his investigation in the dead of night. After setting up a motion detecting music box in the bar section of the restaurant, Alex already begins to experience strange activity. I've got a music box set up at the moment. Just doing a little walkthrough. Hello? I didn't hear a door, Sam. A static camera captures the moment a door slams by itself. But things are about to get even weirder. Alex decides to do a spirit box session in the hopes of catching some paranormal activity. Where are you? Can you give me a sign, please? <laughs> oh, f hell. F what the f Alex asks for a sign and bottles sitting on the bar seem to be pushed over on their own. But it's when he takes a closer look at the bottles that he captures something truly disturbing. I don't understand how these were locked down. It's crazy, I don't understand this. I'm pretty sure this is like that. Hello? What the fuck is that noise? Who's there? Just throwing my head in. The dark silhouette of a figure can be seen standing in a room right across from Alex. Now, Alex doesn't notice the figure at first, but when he moves towards the door, he realizes that something is not quite right. He inspects the room to make sure no one is there, but he gets the unsettling feeling that he's being watched. Alex no longer feels safe in the remote building and all by himself. So he decides to just get out of there. You can watch this entire investigation and many more spooky videos over on the YouTube channel, Hunting the Unknown. The thing from the cave. The UK ones are not, I don't know why they're not as scary to me. 
American sounds like a movie. So it just, yeah, it fits it. The, like, foreign ones are spooky because you can't understand. Like, you're having to read what they're saying, too. And so it just, yeah. When they're like... Oh, fucking hell, bruv. I just see a bottle fall over. It just, I don't know, it just it takes me out of it. <laughs> it makes me feel like it's fake automatically. But anyway, let's go. Japanese paranormal investigators Gachan, Daichan, and Yasuke are contacted by one of their viewers about a bizarre picture they took in an allegedly haunted cave in Fukuoka Prefecture, Japan. The picture shows what appears to be a woman peeking from a rock inside the caves. The location is said to be a paranormal hotspot, and many visitors claim to have seen the mysterious apparition of a lady dressed all in white. It's late at night when the Clip Store team carefully make their way deep underground into the cave system to search for the spot where the photo was taken. <laughs> マジ膝限界でさ、なんかわしきトイレでトイレしてる時こんな感じじゃない。あ、わかる。マジ。え、the Clip Store team manages to find the exact location of the photo. But now, with all three members so cramped in such a tiny cave tunnel, Yasuke and Daichan decide to head back out and wait in the car. Gachan stays behind to listen and look for anything strange. Gachan has been in the dark cave for about 20 minutes when this happens. While sitting in the dark, Kachan is a little freaked out when he suddenly hears what sounds like a woman crying from somewhere deep within the caves. Meanwhile, waiting back in the car, Yasuke and Daichan also experience something terrifying. あと、コウモリえぐかったね。あ、良かったね。いや、前来た時ね、全部冬眠しとったけん。あの、上にくっついとるだけやったんやけど、今日ずっと終始飛び回りよったけんさ。うん。マジ地獄やったね。いや、本
someone or something can be seen moving up above them as if following them down into the caves. But the clip store guys don't see or hear anything. So could it be that they had an encounter with the strange apparition of the woman in white that haunts this area? Let me know what you think. I don't know. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Clip Store. That didn't look like no woman to me. It looked like some creepy old guy. I just had my dangly bit in my cleft for ages and now it's gone everywhere. Hold on two seconds. Oh, all right, yeah, let's carry on. Let's go. Graveyard shift. TikTok user Veronica is working the night shift on the second floor of the Baylor Scott and White Medical Center in Rowlett, Texas. Suddenly, they start to experience something truly creepy. <laughs> Did you hear her? Yes. You hear her? Hmm. I was sleeping so we woke him up. We woke him up. I think I'm her mom. That was you. No, I swear to God. Was that something? <laughs> Veronica and her co workers hear the sound of someone humming or singing. Did you hear her? Yes. You hear her? Mm. That was you. No, I swear to God. Was that something? Come on. And a door opens by itself. Night shift worker Veronica explains that she believes that several ghosts haunt the Baylor Hospital, but she says that one of them the ghost of a young girl can often be heard laughing and singing throughout the hallways, as if trying to reach out to the staff. So is the hospital haunted by the spirit of a young girl? Let me know what you think. The Mysterious Mannequin. This next eerie clip. To be fair, if anywhere's gonna be haunted, it's gonna be a hospital, let's be real. I wonder how many people die in hospital every single day. You know what I mean? So yeah, I could imagine if there is ghosts, then they're going to be all over hospitals. Posted by TikTok user The Truth 444 the video shows a tourist in Paris stopping at the storefront of the famous and very controversial brand Balenciaga. The woman notices something in the store window that is truly disturbing. Okay, people, tell me something. So this is a store in Paris. This is a man's store in Paris. And this is a, a um, mannequin that they say that they made this <laughs> and put this in the store. This boy look like somebody dead and bomb. Look at his hand. Wait, I'm doing it through the hole. Look at the boy hands. Look, the hands. His hands, his hands is as real as mine. The woman is freaked out by a mannequin that looks just a little bit too real. But things are about to get even weirder. Watch closely. If anybody have this guy missing, please. This is crazy. I've never seen anybody look so freaking real. How you I have this man in another store sit on? Look. Look at that. You see? This 
This is friggin' crazy. Look at the, look in the guy eye. And them said they made this mannequin and put clothes on him and have him sit down in the window. Look at the guy friggin' face. He's in Paris. If you know anyone that missing a black son, look like this. He's in Paris in the store in the window. The mannequin suddenly <laughs> appears to be looking directly at the woman. <laughs> Viewers of the video are Oh, uh, I want to be that woman's friend because that was hilarious. <laughs> Listen to that again. Friggin' crazy. Look at the, look in the guy eye. And them said they made this mannequin and put clothes on him and have him sit down in the window. Look at the guy friggin' face. He's in Paris. If you know anyone that missing a black son, look like this. He's in Paris in the store in the window. <laughs> the mannequin suddenly appears to be looking directly at the woman. Viewers of the video are creeped out by the sudden change in position and some even swear they could see the mannequin blinking. The video gets a massive amount of attention as viewers begin to make wild claims that the multi-billion dollar fashion brand Balenciaga has embalmed one of their models and that the mannequin isn't a mannequin at all, but is in fact a missing model by the name of Christopher Tyler. The claims become even stronger after Christopher Tyler seems to drop offline. He stops modeling and mysteriously his Instagram account is suddenly set to private. People became so disturbed by the ultra lifelike mannequin's resemblance to model Christopher Tyler that Chris had to actually post an Instagram live addressing that he was safe and actually very much alive. Like I appreciate everybody concerned, but you know, you can't feed into whatever you see on the internet. Nah, you a clone, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a fake page. They clone me. <laughs> everything, everything in the book. Everything in the book. But all of this really doesn't explain why this creepy mannequin seems to stare at this tourist who gets too close. The hospital visitor. This next creepy... To be fair, Balenciaga, uh, they're definitely some elitist. You've seen the... Well, everyone I think seen it, but if you haven't, look up the Balenciaga... Um, The paedophile things that in their adverts there was paedophile documents and just weird shit and kids basically in bondage gear like yeah anyway let's keep going finishes video was posted to the internet without a source it is said that the video was taken by a patient in a hospital in indonesia Allegedly, he recorded the video to reassure his friends and family that he's safe and in good hands. But when he looks back at his own footage, he sees something so disturbing that he no longer feels safe at all. A dark figure veiled in black can be seen watching over another patient. Now, that on its own is not that scary. But the man recording the video claims that there was no one there at the time. He says that there was no dark figure. Now many viewers of the video have said that the eerie figure appears to be floating and that they believe the apparition might be the grim reaper, patiently awaiting the patient's death. But I'll leave that up to you to what, decide. What, did he die? Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, do it now. And you need to know from the guy, did he die or not? If he died, then yeah, that's he's creepy. If not, then what's the Grim Reaper doing there? But yeah. Yeah. I know, that was a good one, though, that last one. But the... Well, I don't know if she's Jamaican. don't know where that's Trinidad could be. But yeah, she's hilarious. If anyone's missing a black son, he's he's in Paris, he's in a sh in a shop in a window. <laughs> but yeah, that's the reaction. Sweet.